This is Nick Miller and welcome to this ZBrush DVD on introduction to Zscripting. I've been using ZBrush since version 2.5, so about 7 or 8 years. I'm a character artist by trade, but started to learn Zscripting a few years ago and it became completely addicted. What I love about Zscripting is it's very easy to pick up and there are very few commands to learn when you compare it to other scripting languages. Because there's so few commands, it can be somewhat limiting, but I find this to be a challenge and enjoy coming up with creative ways to work around these limitations. Scripting is an iterative process that has a lot of parallels to art. You start off with something rough and build on it and build on it, and you find out what works and what doesn't until you have a polished piece. For this DVD, my goal is to demonstrate how easily plugins can be created and address some of the complex nuances that may trip up new Zscripters. We'll start off by going over how Zscripts are structured and the most common commands that you use while Zscripting. I'll be giving a description of these commands and how they are used. Then I'll go over what a variable is and how they're used in Zscripts, followed by some basic UI elements uh, so that you're able to use your commands inside of ZBrush. I'll show how these work by writing some example scripts. After that, I'll explain some more commands such as routines, secondary attributes of buttons, and manipulating the subtools. As an example, I'll be making a script that will remember a subtool that you choose, and with a hotkey you can quickly hide or unhide it. I'll use this script to build on top of and demonstrate additional commands. Further into the DVD, I will get into complex commands um, like variable lists, saving and loading files, as well as saving and loading preferences for the script. This is where I'll start building the plugin that comes with the DVD and walk through the iterative process. The plugin will start with something simple, just saving your render preferences. Then I'll add more and more features and each iteration will give me another idea to build on until the plugin is a complex feature rich tool. After we have all of our scripts made, I'll show you how to compile all of them into a plugin and go over some more advanced UI techniques, such as changing the button height and creating spacers. Creating plugins is very easy, but there are some tips and tricks that I have picked up that will help your plugins look more professional. This DVD is perfect for artists that know nothing about programming or scripting and want to increase their productivity with scripts, or for people that may already know some scripting for another software and want to jumpstart their knowledge of scripting inside of ZBrush. When finished with this DVD, you should be able to create simple scripts such as duplicating subtools, all the way to complex scripts like the render properties and render compare that I create near the end of this DVD. There's a lot of information to absorb, so let's get started.